Take two. Okay. <laughs> that was that was <laughs> ridiculous. Uh, I'm Yutam. And I'm Noor. And we're cooking for Food 52 channel from our new book, Ottolenghi Test Kitchen, Shelf Love. We'll basically use ingredients from our shelves, fridges and freezers to create ottolenghi -fied dishes to share with you. So uh, please subscribe to the OTK channel and to Food 52 channel so you don't miss out on any of these recipes. Today we're cooking burnt aubergine or eggplant with tomato sauce and tahini. Yeah, it's kind of like a warm meza that you would serve with bread, with lettuce cups or just with a spoon. And it's delicious and vegan and you must watch along and try it. Watch along. I like to watch along. Watch along. Where did that come from? I don't watch know. Along. It came from my heart. <laughs> watch along. Watch along. <laughs> so shall I start by burning some aubergine? Yes, let's do it. Are you ready it. for me? I'm ready. I'm just going to uh, pierce the aubergines, the eggplants in a few places and all it takes is just putting them straight on this really, really hot grill. Why are we piercing them? Uh, so I'm piercing them because um, as they cook, they kind of steam and sometimes, not always, uh, the outside skin can t turn into like one of these balloons that like inflates and then pops and it, it happened to me in my oven once. Me too, the cleaning it's up was not fun. It's hours of cleaning. And what we are here to achieve is the cooking of the aubergine inside by also getting that wonderful smokiness inside. That's why you've got smoke. So the smoke is not a necessary evil. It's like what gives all the flavor to the eggplant flesh when it's ready and cooked. So while that is happening, I'm going to make a tomato sauce for us. So I'm going to heat up some olive oil in the pan. No, you said you could actually just use ready-made tomato sauce. Tomato or tomato? Tomato. Tomato. <laughs> <laughs> we won't judge you um, if you do. That's totally fine if you're short on time. Yeah. Actually, this, this dish was kind of Born because there was some tomato sauce in the fridge that needed using up. And eggplants and tomatoes are just such a great thing to um, to combine, right? Like so many great dishes, melanzane and all the rest are made out of combining eggplants and tomatoes. So this is kind of, in a way, this is a classic. Although it isn't, you know, it's something that we've created. It just, it's like the Middle East and the Mediterranean where you've got these things at the height of summer where they're just delicious and they're kind of, uh, really meant to go together. So you can just put the onions directly into the pan. I'm crying. Are you crying? I am. Please don't cry. You want to soften them till they're nice and golden, and we are also gonna prep the I garlic. Can really see you I crying. know. I'm sorry. Tom, don't catch this on camera. <laughs> I'm Arab. I'm very emotional. <laughs> It's a, it's a cultural thing. <laughs> I would call it melodramatic. <laughs> so I'm just going to turn those eggplants and you'll be turning them over and over again throughout the cooking. And this is a long process. It's not hard. It's not complicated. It's just long. It takes up to 45 minutes. If they're very big, it could take a whole hour. So my onions are looking nice and lightly golden. Um, I'm going to now add my garlic. I did four crushed garlic cloves. Well, you can do more if you like. Lots yeah. of garlic. Depends. Oh, and the garlic, you can't get enough of, right? And then I'm just going to go in about a teaspoon of the tomato paste. Can I be your servant and stir it for you? <laughs> <laughs> I like being in charge. <laughs> okay, now I'm going to add the tomato. I use a tin tomatoes, but you can use fresh if you want. And then I just kind of crushed it with my hands. Um, you didn't show that, did you? No, I didn't show that part. <laughs> okay, anyway. Terrible. So, sugar, because yeah. um, just to balance the acidity. So, why do you, you say balance tomato the acidity? Sauce. So, why do you add sugar to, to, to tomato sauce? Tomato uh, sauce? Because otherwise it will be very sour and you want something a bit sweet there. So, you just add a pinch of sugar and it will just mellow it all out and it will yeah. just be. And then I'm going to also add uh, just a bit of water because, um, you know, I do want it to be nice and rich, but just to kind of lighten it. And then loads of freshly cracked pepper. None of that pre-ground stuff. Oh yeah, that's oh, terrible. Yeah, no. <laughs> and can I turn my aubergines while you're doing that? Oh yeah. You see the skin is starting to crinkle and, and looks like it's kind of starting to 
break up and, and burn, so that's what you want. And I'm gonna season. I always measure, because sometimes I over season. <laughs> So I use my... Do you really? I either over or under. So I now I just like, I measure everything. We're going to make a topping, right? So the, the, the dish uh, will have tomato sauce, aubergines and two toppings. So I'm going to make like a flavored oil. Yeah. Uh, something to bring the dish together at the very end. So I, uh, I'm just warming up some olive oil. It's like about three tablespoons. To that, I'm going to add some sliced garlic and pine nuts. What if it was like, oh my god, I don't have pine nuts? What oh would, my what god. Would, I got yeah, it. what if it was like an oh my god moment? Could they use something like um, almonds? Almonds, yeah. Or there's some people who can't have nuts at all. They could use like um, seeds. Seeds. Sunflower seeds. That would yeah. be nice. Hab. Yeah. So I'm going to add my slice garlic to my hopefully hot oil and add some pine nuts. The pine nuts can really burn quite easily. So you kind of want to make sure to keep an eye on it the whole time. And what else do we need? Coriander seeds and, and cumin, cumin seeds. The spices I'm just going to add in when this is off the heat so they don't burn. Are your aubergine nearly ready? Well, um, this one is looking a bit right, almost ready. I can tell because it's all looking all droopy and sad, but it's, that makes me happy. Um, so <laughs> and you need quite a lot of courage, don't you? Because you carry on yeah. cooking even past what it looks like yeah. the burnt stage, right? And it's okay, like it's okay to overcook it. The most important thing is you don't undercook it, because the more you cook it, the more smoky it is, and that's only a good thing. It's just more flavor. Exactly. Yeah. So you can just kind of let them do their thing while you do your thing. And have like what? coffee or a, bis or a cookie. Or cookie. So the garlic is starting to go, go a little bit golden and so does the pine nuts. I'm going to take it off now. Into the garlic oil, I'm adding coriander seeds, cumin seeds, some flake chili and a tiny bit of salt. So that like kind of cooks in the residual heat, doesn't it? Yeah, that cooks mm. in the heat. So those spices are going to get more flavor from sitting in that hot oil for a little while. And I'm just going to pour them into this little bowl. I think my aubergines are looking ready. Well, right. at least um, this one is. So I'm going to transfer it to this colander set over a bowl. Well, that's quite important, isn't it, when you burn aubergines? Yeah, you don't want the watery bit. You want all the flavor in the flesh. And I'm just going to let it cool down a little bit before I, before I touch it. Just about 10, 15 minutes. Can I bring out the book? Oh, yeah. Let's talk about the so book. So this is the book. So this is the OTK, the Otto Lenghi Test Kitchen Cookbook Shelf Love. And there's lots of shelves here. We love puns. <laughs> we love a good pun. Every section in the book is focused on another part of the kitchen that you want to use up ingredients from. So we've got ingredients from the shelves, ingredients from the uh, freezer or the fridge or from your veg box and that's what the book is all about. We put this recipe in the veg box section because actually it was born out of um, aubergines that were kind of looking a bit sad in my veg box so that's how it kind of came into this chapter. I think your yeah. tomato sauce is ready. It is. I'm gonna add some dill to this sauce a lot of people I discovered, you have that don't like dill. I know. And What's like, that all about? I, I love dill. What's I, the know, dill with not liking dill? Love that. I know. <laughs> Some people associate yeah. it with like Northern European cooking, like Scandinavian and Central European. But actually, yeah. we use it quite a lot in the Middle East. Don't we, we really do, especially like in Persian cooking and stuff. Uh, I mean, we use it so much in Bahrain. Um, I think it's such a great herb, but as long as you don't go like overboard with it, because it can be quite overpowering yeah. and like fight with all the other herbs. Also, dried herbs are fine here. Like, not everybody has got fresh herbs. Yeah. So, a tiny bit of dried tarragon or dried oregano. Yeah, that would totally work. Yeah. So, so this I guess. Is ready. Shall the... I make a quick tahini yep, swap? Yeah, absolutely. So, uh, I'll just grab my tahini. This is like the easiest thing in the world. This is not a proper tahini sauce, which to which, you know, we probably would add. Uh, garlic and lemon juice. This is just a topping for this because all those flavors are anywhere in the dish. Just gonna uh, take uh, about 
this amount of tahini paste, tiny bit of salt, and I'm just gonna add enough water to kind of double that amount to this little bowl. I'll add a little bit. It's always weird when you add water. I feel like the tahini like is like, ah, and then it like seizes up. I know, and then it you, does. And then it, it just, does. And then it's like. This is now the moment. Yeah. At first it looks a bit split. Yeah. And but, but as you mix it, it comes together and then it becomes quite thick. So it's kind of like nice and thick, but still pourable. So my aubergines, are, they're still a bit warm, but I have no feeling left in my hand, so it's fine. So I can start, <laughs> I can start chilling them now. Should um, we do a, like a health and safety note for people yes, at home? Yes, don't if, do this at home. <laughs> if your eggplants are hot, just let them cool down. Yeah, let them cool down, but I have no patience, so I'm, I'm just gonna start peeling it, and it, it comes off pretty easily. And then you don't have to be perfect with it. Like if some of the skin is like doesn't want to come off, it's cool. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah. I'm just kind of breaking it into threads so you get that texture still left uh, in the final dish. This is ready, right? Yeah, I think we're ready to plate. You have a nice, yeah? nice plate that you wanna. I do happen to have a nice plate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I didn't think about it at all. No, before not this at all. Moment, it right? didn't like, require any like a... any prior planning. <laughs> just kind of appeared. This is the plate. Okay, oh. so this is looking all nice and warm and and lovely, and I'm just gonna transfer it to my plate. Do the thing. Do the thing. And now we're gonna go in with the topping to make it look all fancy. Oh my goodness, that is just beyond good. Like, it really, it is just like you smell everything. It's just. Mm. And then I'm gonna go with the topping, which you lovingly made. And it kind of just like pulls all over into the tahini. And I've also picked some dill for you. Oh, th <laughs> thank you. The and best then, job in the kitchen. Then have someone pick some dill for you and then add the dill. <laughs> All right, and that's it. We're all done. I right. think we're we're ready to dig in. That looks delicious, doesn't it? Guys, do you want to come and eat? Yeah. It's just a bit sad. It's yes, just, it's just her and me. Oh, good. I want to know the smell was from over there. Ah, nice and spicy. Mm. Oh, Those chili flakes are like crazy. Mm. Every single time you get them, they're like different. These ones are very spicy. You taste the sesame seeds from that tahini. It's so nutty. Mm. Obviously with the pine nuts. Mm. And the oiliness just so mm. good. Thanks for lunch. Dish. I'm off. Yeah. <laughs> I'll leave you to the dishes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed watching us cook the burnt aubergine, tomato and tahini dish and that you're all rushing to the shops to make it at home. So there's an actual link to the recipe. There. Down below, we've Some been told. Below. Not that way. <laughs> or that way. This way. Uh, that way. Down. And you can cook the recipe and also get copies of Shelf Love. Wherever you are in the world. So this is actually the same book. Uh, two covers. Uh, down below. Mm -hmm.